Welcome back. Now, who doesn't love a good sandwich? It is simple. You can also zhuzh it up, make it really bougie. It's versatile. And that's why the latest issue of Edible Northeast Florida is dedicated to this simple yet incredibly satisfying handheld meal. Lauren Titus, the editor-in-chief of Edible Northeast Florida, is here to tell us about some of the best sandwiches in our area. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. We're saying how this is great timing uh, because I'm starving and I haven't had anything to eat yet. So this is my inspiration for breakfast. You're definitely going to be hungrier after we finish this discussion. I cannot wait. So what is so special about the sandwich? Well, first of all, we had to define what a sandwich is. Oh. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is a hamburger? Is a burrito? The debate. (laughs) Yes, it was the great sandwich (laughs) debate. And then we had to narrow down our list of where to focus. Uh, we did a story uh, in this issue called Sandwich Passport, kind of your, uh, your ticket to culinary adventures in Northeast Florida. And we did a poll on social media. Oh, of course, that was kind of controversial. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has an opinion on where to find the sandwich that will satisfy your, your cravings. So it was not an easy task, but I'm here to tell you I survived all the research. Oh, boy. I was going to say, how many, how many sandwiches did you have to I lost taste count. Test? We, we featured 16 different places in Northeast Florida, but I know I ate at least twice as many sandwiches as that. I can only just, imagine. There was like a little bit of Pepto-Bismol in there to help with the indigestion. <laughs> lots of bread, lots of everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. But what a lucky job you have, though. It's a great That's, job. And you're the expert, which is why we had to bring you in to talk about this. Now, what inspired uh, the idea to dedicate this whole issue to the sandwich? Well, our summer issue is typically uh, a fun one. It encourages the culinary wanderlust. Um, And who doesn't? Well, I know one person who does not care for sandwiches, but pretty much everyone loves a good sandwich. A non-sandwich fan. I know. I know. I won't mention names. Couldn't be me. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But we thought it would be a popular um, topic to talk about and quite extensive topic. Uh, Everything from making them at home and why perhaps making your own sandwich doesn't really satisfy your hunger as much as eating out uh, does, um, which was a really uh, fun uh, study done to talk about how the psychology of making your own sandwich actually deters your hunger and desire for it at the end of making it. as in, like, so, you don't want to eat it by the time you're yeah, finished? Yeah, yeah. That is definitely not me either. I've, I finally learned how to, like, properly stack a sandwich and, and fluff the fluff the sandwich meat, as my husband loves to say. Uh, yeah. And I'm so excited to eat it at the end because it yeah. looks great. I've got the, the cheese, the avocado, the meat. Sometimes going through all those steps of putting it all together is like, okay, I've seen it all. I've done it. I, now I don't want to eat it. <laughs> So that's why we have this full list of places where you can go and have someone else make it for you. Um, The other thing about sandwiches is they're endless. There are so many different combinations. And you can have, you know, something simple as a tomato sandwich, Mm -hmm. you know, popular with a bit of um, Dukes or other type of mayo, though some say there is no other You know there is no other type, not in the (laughs) South. (laughs) Well, let's talk about some of your favorites. Sure, so what were the highlights sure. of the, the 16 featured? Right. So with the Sandwich pas- Passport, we wanted to highlight not only some local places, but also the, um, the global diversity of sandwiches. Uh, so, for instance, we start up in Fernandina Beach at Wicked Bow oh. with their bow sandwiches, their steam bun, and they have a variety of fillings uh, that you can, you can specify for uh, getting, your bow, getting your bow on up there. <laughs> Um, and it's then, very pillowy, very soft type yeah, of bread. It's so exactly, good. Exactly, exactly. Um, and then we go to some longtime favorites like Blue Boy Sandwich Shop mm-hmm. up in North Jacks. And you can get a sandwich big enough for a family. There you um, go, which yeah. is ideal. Yes. Why not? Exactly. <laughs> Just get one big, giant, um, you know, super club and divide it amongst, or not, <laughs> depending on how hungry <laughs> Don't you are. Don't have to share. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we wanted to also give a nod to the vegans uh, who might, uh, vegan diners mm-hmm. who might not want a sandwich loaded with different cold cuts and um, other things that, you know, are, are animal products. Uh, so the walrus over in Murray Hill. Yes. Yeah, they do some terrific press sandwiches. Um, oh, yeah. I've had their uh, their bacon. I think it's like a rice paper bacon. Mm-hmm. So yeah. good. I'm not vegan, but I love trying out, you know, how 
chefs are getting kind of creative in all the different ways to make plant plant based uh, dishes, and their sandwiches are really good. Definitely yeah. worth a stop. Yeah, yeah, they're they're a fun little outlet over there. Uh, then we uh, look to France, uh, Le Petit Paris, Ooh, okay. uh, with their baguette sandwiches. Uh, they've got a variety of those. Um, they've got one that has that features brie and cranberries and oh, that uh, turkey, perfect. arugula. Um, so it's just a little fun way to pretend that you're in the south of France for a meal. And um, you don't have to get an actual passport. No dollar eighty or two hundred no, or no, one eighty no. or two hundred dollars. Yeah. So this uh, this issue features a couple of sandwiches from Kushinryu. Uh, which is a Japanese sando shop over Ooh. on Beach Boulevard. Okay. Uh, they use a Japanese milk bread, which is a really thick bread, uh, and they fill it with some different um, different types of things. They've got a dessert sando uh, with ube cream and strawberries. I know that it, the fruit changes with the season, but the one that we feature on the cover has strawberries. And what a beautiful sandwich it is. Yes. What a beautiful photo. It is, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the photo is by Agnes Lopez, one of our favorite photographers. Fantastic. Who, yeah. She's incredible, especially taking photos of food because yeah. <laughs> I'm starving anytime I look at <laughs> any of her food styling photos. Yeah. But were any of these sandwiches uh, created in Jacksonville, like the idea of the sandwich? Uh, well, you know, there is the um, the rider. The mm -hmm. sheep um, has been has become known for the rider sandwich. Uh, uh, really Pretty simple sandwich uh, in a pita bread, um, but some great cold cuts, and it's an easy one to eat on the go. Um, you know, just being in that pita pocket, you're not nothing's falling out of the exactly, other end. Exactly. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. And you uh, guys wash it down with a what is it? There, the cherry limeade is like the super exactly. popular little companion to the to the rider sandwich. Yeah. Now, as far as people who have some actual like dietary restrictions, um, people who are you know gluten free dairy-free if they need to be, how easy is it for them to find sandwich it, options? It's getting easier. It's getting easier. Uh, certainly the dairy-free, there's so many different plant-based options. Uh, the gluten-free is a little bit harder. Um, mm. So, you know, it, it may take a little digging to uh, to find that's perfect sandwich for the gluten-free eater, but they're, they're definitely out there. I would say Arepa, so Arepa Please, who is also on this list and one of my favorites. I'm so glad you considered them a sandwich because uh -huh. <laughs> I kind of do too. Um, I don't know if they're considered gluten free because it's uh, it's a cornmeal that arepas are made from. Um, so maybe yes. we have to ask our, our gluten free expert. They I are think, gluten free. I Heather, producer can. Heather, says they are. So if you are a gluten free yeah. person, uh -huh. arepa please will uh -huh. will be okay exactly. with you. Yeah, and again, um, they've got so many different options there. Um, you could probably even customize one at the shop there. There you go. Well, thank you so much, but Lauren Titus. Editor-in-Chief of uh, Edible Northeast Florida, thank you so much. You can find this issue of, of the sandwich issue on newsstands everywhere, right? Exactly. Yes. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank and you. And stick around. We'll be back.